Hey everybody, September is here, and so are the September 2020 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. My name is Corey. So uh, September is here, and we have this, uh, the th four Gaming PC Builds of the Month here, the $1,500, the $1,000, $700, and $500 builds. So whether you're building a build for a back to school or virtual work or anything like that, uh, all of these will do that, but uh, more so these are for uh, specifically for gamers want to game at specific levels so we have the high level build the ultra high level one at fifteen hundred dollars that'll pretty much play anything maxed out uh into two 2k resolutions and then even play well into 4k then if you scale it down a bit uh depending on what but what kind of monitor you have and what resolutions and what gameplay performance you expect to get out of your build um these sort of budgets uh, should be all inclusive of most of uh, the performances that you most of the performance values that you can get out there so 500 hundred dollar build is that entry level one if you just want to get into pc gaming but not necessarily max out everything 700 hundred dollar build should be able to play a lot of games uh sort of maxed out at uh, 1080p and maybe sometimes in the higher higher end games or newer games uh, scale back just a little bit and the one thousand dollar build should be able to max out any game at 1080p and play well into 2k resolutions and even max out some ga games there and then the fifteen hundred dollar build like i said uh, is all inclusive of all those resolutions and then can even play well up to 4k so let's get started with the fifteen hundred dollar gaming pc build of the month for september 2020 uh this build uh cpu we have is the amd ryzen 7 3700x a good well-rounded cpu for not only gaming but uh other things that if you want to do uh, video rendering or streaming or things like that this is a perfect cpu for that this comes in at currently at the beginning of the month at 279.99 uh we uh this also comes with an included uh stock amd wraith prism cooler uh which is a phenomenal cooler uh, and you shouldn't need more than that unless you go really extreme with your overclocks uh, and uh, however it, it also looks really nice too with the rgb lighting the motherboard we have is the asus am4 tough gaming x570 plus uh motherboard wi-fi included uh this uh, motherboard comes in at 189.99 the real power driver on this build is uh, uh the rtx 27 2070 super overclock uh, and this is the overclocked asus uh sorry <laughs> this is the overclocked asus evo card uh specifically but you can get other uh, rtx 2070 super uh supers out there uh depending on uh, the prices but this one's a a really good card so at 529.99 the memory memory we have is a crucial ballistics 3600 megahertz uh kit of a uh, 16 gigabyte kit of ram 2 gigabyte sticks 3600 is uh, the perfect speed for this build um in terms of memory storage we have is western digital black one terabyte nvme uh, ssd super speedy at 149.99 and then the power supply we have is the EVGA uh, G, uh, GQ750 here, which is 750 watt semi-modular power supply. Power supply has been a little tough in the last little bit in terms of supply and being able to get a high quality one for a good price. Uh, but this one currently comes in at $119.99 and you shouldn't need more than 750 watts for this build anyhow. However, uh, a secondary, secondary recommendation if you want a highly efficient power supply and if it's available is the EVGA Supernova 750P2. Uh, platinum rated and it's also fully modular the pc case we have this month is the corsair iq 220t uh, this is a, a really cool case for its value so it comes in at 99.99 it comes with the three uh, 220t uh, corsair uh, rgb fans that all sync up nicely using the iq software uh, which is really cool and it's a uh, overall it's a really great looking case now for the one thousand dollar gaming pc build for september 2020 uh, this build, like I said, extreme settings at 1080p, higher settings at 2K resolutions, and even maxing out some ga uh, some games depending on the game you play at higher re uh, at uh, higher settings at 2K resolutions. Uh, the CPU we have is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. Uh, comes in at 208.99 currently. This also comes with the Wraith Spire cooler uh, included. Um, the motherboard is the Astrock B550 Pro 4. Uh, this comes in at 134.99. Uh, these are one of the newer ones. Uh, the graphics card we have is the MSI Gaming uh, RX 5700 XT, uh, which is a phenomenal uh, graphics card in my opinion. Uh, so a 389.99. Uh, you can also go with the non XT 5700 if you don't have quite this amount to spend. But this is there. You can finally you can find these for fairly good values these days now. Uh, the memory we have again is Crucial Ballistics 3600 megahertz, uh, 16 gigabyte kit at $84.67 storage here we have is a crucial p1 500 gigabyte nvme ssd at 5974 the uh, power supply is the evga uh, evga 650 n1 650 watt uh, power supply uh, at 7495 and the case this month we have for this build is the fantex eclipse 
uh, one that you see here. Uh, this one is uh, a little cheaper at $55.99, and this brings the bill to a total of $1,010 this month um, for the $1,000 gaming PC build. The $700 build, scaled back just a little bit here. Uh, this is really for those gamers that want to max out 1080p resolutions and or uh, play kind of higher settings at least <laughs> in all games out there. And then this is the build for you. Uh, the CPU for this one is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. However, uh, the, lately these ones have been a little low on stock and therefore the price has uh, gone up just a little bit. Uh, currently it's at $205.99. So if you can't find this one, just bump it up to a 3600X and you should be fine, especially if the price is uh, close to this. Otherwise this should be a little less expensive uh, as the month goes on. Cooler we have included is the Ray Stealth Cooler. Uh, motherboard, Astrock B550M HDV. This is a micro ATX. Uh, motherboard so a smaller uh, form factor motherboard uh, and it comes in at $80.99 uh, the graphics card we have the Asus Tough uh, GTX 1660 Super overclocked version of this card or if you can afford it and want to bump it, bump it up to a, a better card if you have a little more to spend you could bump it up to an RX 5600 XT which is a worthy upgrade I think it gets about if I'm thinking back to the benchmarks about 15% extra in terms of uh, performance overall but uh, this is a, the 1660 Super is a great card as well at $229.99. Memory we have is Crucial Ballistics 2400, eight gigabyte kit. That's two four gigabyte sticks at $34.99. And the SSD we have is a Crucial P1 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD at $59.99. And the power supply is a, a modest 500 watt Thermaltake Smart at $48.95. And then the case we have is a Micro ATX Cooler Master Masterbox Q through 300L, which is a small form factor case that fits the small form factor motherboard. Uh, perfectly at $48.99. Uh, I, I like this case, the Masterbox Q3 300L. It's it's everything you need and just everything you need. Well, it looks simple and uh, modern all at the same time and at a good price. And this build comes in at $710 at the moment. Now for the entry level build, that build that, that kind of console killer build, the $500 gaming PC build for September 2020. Uh, Ryzen, uh, the CPU is the Ryzen 5 2600. Uh, also included with the Race Stealth Cooler, this is $147.99, really good value. Motherboard is Asus Prime B450M, uh, micro ATX board. Uh, this is a, comes in at $77.99. Graphics card, the GTX 1650 Super. Uh, it'll play all games at 1080p without a problem. At $164.99, the memory we have is the Crucial Ballistics 2400 MHz uh, memory kit. That's uh, 8 gigabytes uh, total, uh, two 4 gigabyte sticks at $34.99. Storage we have here is the Crucial uh, BX500 240GB SATA SSD, um, so $34.99. And then the power supply we have here is, the, again, the Thermaltake Smart 500W at $48.95. And then the case we have is this Thermaltake Versa H17 uh, Micro ATX case at $49.99. I also like this case because it's just very sleek and simple and comes in at a good budget. But if you don't like this one, you can also swap this one for the one that's included in the $700 one and vice versa. Uh, completely up to you because they're at the, uh, roughly the same price and this build comes in at $525 in total so uh, that does it for all the builds this month uh, good luck if you're building for September if you uh, want to leave a comment or have any questions do leave so in the, uh, a comment in the comments section below otherwise uh, subscribe or visit our website at noobcomputerbuild.com where you can ask any questions you like and kind of look more into these builds we also include kind of uh, upgrade alternatives uh, if you have more to spend uh, now or in the future uh, or just uh, prove the site. All right, until next month, good luck building.